Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, I will show you on how to solve a chess puzzle. So for example, on this position, we must first to know what is the left move of black here. And for example, after this position, the left move of the black here is a king capture to the rook on c5. So the second is how we can actually attack the king by knowing it where actually been located. So we can actually give a check here, but the black here can immediately grab that pawn and again winning some piece on this position. So we try another piece that can actually give a check and it is the queen and we can actually give a check here to b5 but there is a pawn so it is not recommended. So if we try to give a check on c4, we can actually deliver a check to the black king and with an attack to the rook on g8. So there is a double attack on this position after queen to c4. And after the king moves, we can now grab the rook on g8. So the puzzle was solved. So another, we shall see in this position that the last move of the white here was actually a capture on the e4 with rook takes bishop to e4. And we shall see that we can actually grab that rook but we can later on imagine that this bishop can be moved here to d3 with a pin with a rook and later on he can manage to win a rook here and the game also for example but we grab that rook and the white here pinned a rook with his bishop we cannot actually afford to move our king here because we will lose a rook here and the white here will maintain an extra piece so we must support our rook here with the pawn and again to stop the pin from the bishop on d3 because for example after f5 we solve the puzzle so we go now for the last puzzle so here for example first thing first is we must have to know the last move of the adverse king so the last move here for black is a capture on the rook on d8 so how should we react after rook takes d8 we can actually grab that rook with our bishop and we can also capture that rook with a rook on d1 but for example after a capture of bishop on the d8 again the black here is still have an extra pawn and also a pass pawn on the a file so after a capture here the black here still a winning so we try another piece that can actually grab that rook with another piece and it is a rook and for example after rook 6 d8 giving a check and the king here actually was obliged to escape the check and the only square he can go is the h7 square but after that our two bishop was actually controlling this last square with h5 bishop on g6 and f7 for example this bishop on g7 and h8 and again on this position we can actually grab this bishop but after bishop takes c3 rook takes c3 is still the black here is winning with an extra pawn on a pile and later on he can manage to grab this pawn on c2 and after bishop takes c3 the white here is actually losing so we will find another way that can actually win this position and it is all about attacking the king so by attacking some piece on this position is actually not favorable for white and let's do to another thing which is to attack the black king and we shall see that the king was actually positioned on the at seven so how we should give a check here or attack the king there are two things that we can do and it's all about giving a check on g6 but the black king here can actually grab that bishop and manage to win with extra piece so this bishop on g6 was actually unavailable so we try another piece that can actually give a check and we shall see that it is the rook that can give a check on h8 and for example in this position the king here cannot capture the rook because it was supported by the bishop so after putting it on h8 it is actually a checkmate and we actually solve the puzzle. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe.